2K Sports. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Los And just an absolutely gorgeous view here of downtown Los Angeles, seen from high above. Hello and thanks for joining us, 2K Sports fans, for another exciting presentation of NBA Basketball. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. First for the Spurs, Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. And in the middle, out of Brazil, taken with the 28th pick back in 2008, the 6'11 pivot man, Tiago Sporter. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Duncan in at the four spot. And for Los Angeles, Nash and Bryant in the backcourt. And holding down the middle out of Central Michigan University, the skilled and ambidextrous seven-footer, Chris Eamon. Then there's Nick Young, and it's Gasol and at the force line. You know, the Spurs really have a cohesive culture, and part of that is something that Greg Popovich has been able to do, and that's being able to join guys together that normally might not hang out. For instance, you had Matt Bonner taking Steven Jackson out to a Coldplay concert last season. One way to help guys get to know each other off the court, and it helps them on the court. And that one's good. Nice way for him to get started here early. And guys, hopefully a sign of things to come from him here. A steal. The pass to Parker. Banked in off the glass. Parker's got his first points of the night. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. It's all back and down. And it's going to be a three-second call. And back to Popovich and the Spurs, he really makes a point of getting to know his players and have them get to know one another. That's right, Kevin. He, he likes to have his players have a sense of perspective about the world. He, he wants them to know that there are other things going on besides the NBA. In fact, back in 2012, he had the players watching the presidential debates together. Now here's Duncan. Takes the 13-footer. Another one falls for San Antonio. Great job there, recognizing the mismatch and taking advantage. They got to put a bigger guy on him. Otherwise, he'll bury those jumpers all game. Nash drives in. Gasol passes to Young. The feed to Kobe. It's stolen by Green. And here we go. And that one's good. Parker. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's a sweet start. Boy, this is a neat story, guys. Danny Green was undrafted out of North Carolina. And another nice find for perhaps the best organization in all of sports, the San Antonio Spurs. He's an excellent three-point shooter, over 40% of the three-point range for his career. He helps that team spread the floor, and that energizes their high-powered offense. And here is Parker, following the three-pointer by Kobe Bryant. Gets it to go. Six points for Tony Parker. Pretty impressive. Five straight makes to start this game. Nash, covered by Parker. Excellent D there from Leonard. And Green, nice versatility, too. Not just an outside shooter. No, he's an excellent defensive player. In fact, Greg Popovich calls upon him to often guard the opponent's best wing player. So, uh, for Green, a two-way player, a guy who can get it done at both ends of the floor. Duncan dishes to Parker. Back to Duncan. Shot clock at six. From 13 feet, it goes down. Duncan's got his second basket of the night. Their offense already flowing. Some stellar shooting while jumping out to this lead. Well, high quality shots, and they've been on target with them. And a fast break now for the Spurs. And that one's good. Parker. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Spurs. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on this player has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. 
And we're also seeing a lot of fast break hoops, so this team doing a nice job getting easy points. Here's Nash following the score by Tony Parker. Young, right side, tipped. And so it looks like the Lakers will be in possession here. And Doris Burke spoke with Mike D'Antoni. Doris? I asked him about how his team was going to handle the veterans of the Spurs, and he said there really isn't a whole lot that Duncan and them haven't seen, so you can't surprise them one way or another. Really, it comes down to us being as careful with the ball as they are and being efficient in our possessions. Sounds simple enough, gentlemen. All right, Doris, thanks. San Antonio leading by nine. And, you know, for the Lakers last season, a lot of turmoil. And you think about the coaching change, but it wasn't just that. It was a whole system change as well. And the front office felt the Princeton offense they started using wasn't working out. So they were in a state of flux all season long. And going back to the Princeton offense that Clark mentioned, Steve, tell us about that offense and, and why do you think it didn't work out? Well, they only gave it five games, Kevin. I mean, I, Mike Brown was one and four when he got fired. And, and that's impossible to install an offense and expect it to work that quickly. So, I mean, I think the offense would have been fine if they had given it time and given Mike Brown some time to install it. Now here's Kobe. Young outside. Back to Kobe. Puts it up from 17. Tries again. And Gasol with the lane. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. To the inside. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Looks like they're going to have one of those days where they can do no wrong. Well, they haven't done anything wrong so far. Double-digit lead already. Lakers trail by 11. Kobe with it. Throws it up high. And Gasol with the dunk. Maybe that'll work not. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geek. That's what those alley-oops do, though. Now here's Parker. Passes it to Duncan. Working on Bryant. He dishes it to Green. Outside Leonard. Rocket six. And the rebound goes to Nash. And you know, guys, Nash's workout regimen is the stuff of legends. At his age, he's in as good a condition as most second or third year players in the league. Still highly productive at 39 years old. Parker kicks to split it. Rejected by Young. Outside, Kobe. Back to Nash. Leonard with the steal. It's Parker with the drop. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nick Young. That's his first foul. And going back to Nash in his great condition. You watch it firsthand, Steve, and you have to wonder just how long. Uh, even with all those great techniques of, of getting his body ready to go, how long he's going to be able to play? Well, last season, remember, he broke the bone in his leg that set him back. Uh, in fact, he missed the most games he, he missed in 14 years. Mm. Normally, he's been very durable. So, well, you know, Father Time, as they say, is undefeated, Kevin, and it's catching up with him. <laughs> and Los Angeles with some changes. Wesley Johnson's checked in for Young. Blake comes in for Kobe. And it's formal in for Steve Nash. Here's Blake. Noah Ellie is covering. Got a piece of it. Leaps for it. Feeds it to Farmer. Nice shot from the wing. Farmer's got his first bucket of the night. 36 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Bellinelli, defended by Farmo. He kicks to Bellinelli. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Lakers trail by nine. Here's Blake. There's the dish to Gasol. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. The Spurs have had two chances at the line already, making them both. The first one falls for him. 
And the Lakers making a change here. And Parker drops them both. He has such terrific form and consistency on his free throw. Beautiful to watch. Lake for three. The shot is off. It's like he's just trying to showcase his range, but he could probably get a better shot in that possession. Yeah, he sure could. It doesn't do you any good if you miss it from that deep. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. All right. It's San Antonio up by 11. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break.